shown you how you can boost your self-esteem from the outside, but let's talk about improving it from the inside. Joining us with some tips is Beth Irvin, lifestyle expert and author of Healthy Mother, Healthy Child. Hi there. Hi there. Um, you certainly know that from the inside, there are some really deep-seated um, psychological issues that people have that affects their self-esteem. We're not talking about that level. That's where therapy certainly can, can right. come into play. But we're talking about what most of us do to ourselves every day to kind of knock ourselves down. Right. Um, one of the things you say is start with positive thoughts. It takes so much less energy to have a positive thought than a negative one. Absolutely. And well, from just the last segment that you did, how fun was that? Mm -hmm. And everybody was laughing and what a difference that makes. I think sometimes, unfortunately, we're uh, our own worst enemy, you know, our own self-saboteur. We might say the comment, oh, I'm such an idiot, yeah. or I can't believe I did that, you know. And so it's being aware of that. Number one, I think it's about being aware of what we're saying and noticing that, stopping ourselves and saying, no, wait a minute, maybe what I meant is a positive affirmation. Right, right. Which leads me to my next point. Yeah. Um, and I think positive affirmations are, you know, there's something so simple and so little and you think it really can't be that effective, but they can. Yeah. So, um, and I think when you have one already, ready to go. So looking in the mirror and what it is you see about yourself in that mirror that you like. You know, maybe you like your smile or your eyes or something special about you and then saying that to yourself when you start to get one of these negative thoughts. Oftentimes I'll wear a piece of jewelry that has writing on it and you know, mm -hmm. this one right here just has imagine. So it's like not being afraid yes. to go out of the box and just and think about what could be right. uh, but in, in positive ways. Uh, journaling, which right. is something that most of us, uh, we can understand the benefits of but don't take time to do good to sit down for a few minutes and just collect your thoughts. Well, and the thing I like about journaling, and I talk about my book, is that it's a creative self-expression. You know, a lot of times we don't even know what's on our mind. We don't even know what's bothering us. And then sometimes if we find an outlet that uses the right brain, such as journaling, we start writing and we realize, you know, that there's really, oh, I didn't even know that was bothering me. Yeah. And other types of creative self-expression, uh, such as cooking, flower arranging, playing an instrument, you know, things that but make you... taking time to do it. Right. You know, back to journaling, I was going through my my mom's bedroom going through some stuff recently and I saw hundreds of little black books, little spiral notebook books. Mm -hmm. and I started opening them. It's like 1963. Um, you know, oh. I made dad's underwear pink again you know <laughs> but it was it was literally little things like that because she got the Clorox was with something red yeah. and then so so the kid's father is wearing his pink underwear Smart. again right but it was so cool because I got a glimpse mm -hmm. into my mother's life right. that I never never knew because uh, you know I was just a, an infant at the time and I right. uh, it was just really cool to see and even when she goes back over them and she goes back to where she was at that time and what she's learned since then That's um, amazing. Uh, the other thing is, is like you said, positive affirmations. Uh, don't criticize yourself because uh, we, we do that a lot. Comparing ourselves to others, and we will never measure up. No. You know? You know, Deborah, that's such a big one. And I think at every level, from every age range, you know, there's always that feeling of comparing yourself. That that person's always done it better, and I could never be, do do it as good. And I think that the message there is just to remember that we are each individuals. You know, everybody has a gift. No matter what your gift is, everybody's got one. You know, and if we were all the same, that would be so boring and flat. So we have to just take um, pride in, in our strengths and, our, and the things that we do well. And when we do that, we really send out a light, you know, yeah. and that light it ripples out to everyone and then it gives everyone else permission to feel good. Yeah, we accept yourself right. and you're not comparing yourself to everybody else. What that shows, I think, is confidence. Right. And a lot of people are attracted to somebody, they're not perfect, but they have confidence. confidence. And as I always yeah. say, God made us these you know, wonderful, beautiful originals, but a lot of us go to the grave as a sad, sorry copy of somebody else who was no better than us to begin oh, with. I love because that. the person that you're comparing <laughs> yourself to, chances mm -hmm. are, they're saying, gosh, I wish I was like, oh, right? Yeah. And we just keep going, be who you are, because that that's who you're meant to be. Uh, that's a big message. All right, so Absolutely. we're going to leave today with that, right, audience? That yeah. no more beating yourself up. You're okay like you are. And uh, again, make you find that positive affirmation right. that you like to make every day and start out your day that way and end your day with that way with, I'm okay. Absolutely. And and when you catch catch yourself, you know, notice and once you become more aware of that and can replace those negative uh, thoughts with positive ones, it's, yeah. it's powerful. Because I've, I've caught myself doing that, God, you're so stupid for doing that. And it's yeah. like, okay, it just happened, big deal. Did, yeah. You know, if everybody's okay, it's, it's all right. right. Uh, Beth is giving away um, 20 of her books to 20 of our audience members, The Healthy Mother, Healthy Child. Creating balance in everyday life. I want to thank all my guests for joining us today. Thank you in our studio audience and thank you at home. We hope you have a great day, Houston. Mm.